Hello, Space Nerd the Game Horizon here, and welcome to my first ever tutorial video. Now, before we're going any further, sorry for my bad English, not in my main language, but I love this, I love doing this sort of video, and it's very actually encouraging to do this, seeing all of the supports, I mean, even one subscriber, one like, one comment, for me at least, it's very encouraging to do better every time, so thank you guys for all the supports. Now, let's jump right into the main topic, the tutorial. As you can see, we are playing Space Engineers, and I think you guessed it, we're gonna do a tutorial how to play the Space and Survival. Please note, this is not a tutorial for hardcore gamers, not at all. Now, I don't have a lot of time, I only have like, what, 3 hours, 2 hours to just play in the game I want and 2 hours to record and 4 hours to edit and 2 hours to you know, do my research and gathering information and everything I need to be able to edit so I'll be left at the end of the night, at the end of the day, at night, around like 2 hours maybe sometimes 4 hours to play the game I want and a lot of game so I don't wanna spend a lot of time to grind so that I can build whatever I want so yeah I'm not a hardcore gamer because I don't have enough time and if you're like me you just want to have fun you don't want to do a lot of grindings but this tutorial may help you hopefully it does Okay, that's enough of me bringing a lot of excuses for all sort of thing and let's just jump right into the game Oh, no, actually wait, let me just show you guys the setting for the save that we're gonna actually play So, there we go Okay, so my recording software decided not to pick up my voice and record my voice and I'm doing this thing again and thank god the gameplay, the gameplay footage is fine, uh, surprisingly, and I'm doing this again. So let me show you guys the setting I'm actually gonna use for my um, uh, for my tutorial and the survival actually uh, playthrough. So I'm not gonna do a playthrough on this um, save at all. I have my own playthrough that I may end up to adding more to YouTube. I don't know. Okay, as I said before, and uh, this is not a um, tutorial guide for um, those who want to be like hardcore uh, gamer or anything like that. No, it's just for those who want to have fun, don't have enough time and don't like just waiting, grinding all over the place and time. So this tutorial is basically for you. Okay, we're gonna start with the advanced setting and um, now with the inventory size to 10 times, I think it's actually on 10 times on default, which makes sense. And uh, also put that max object to 16. And make sure you don't really drop some of uh, the components uh, that are important. So that's it from this section. Keep them all to like whatever are they are now here, to the default setting. And now if you're like me want to get some footage while you are actually playing then editing them putting up to the youtube enable the specter it's nothing that it's nothing really game breaking or you know doesn't really hurt anything uh, anything else i want to say keep all of them into the default oh and mm, about cyberhound um, they are really annoying but they are also useful um, now, I was actually surprised to see that you're gonna actually spawn with 300 uh, magazine clips or like ammo. And so, you're gonna have a lot of ammunition to get rid of these cyberhounds if they attack you, and they actually drop loot. Uh, so, that's a good thing, but they are annoying. And if you pay, if you don't pay attention enough, they can actually eat through your uh, base. So, your choice. I don't have them enabled for now. After 10 hours setting up some defenses around my base or just progress a little bit, I'm gonna actually activate this Cyber Hound. It's good, give a bit, uh, get a little bit of variety to the gameplay. Not really, it uh, makes it a less boring after a few hours actually spending the game. Now, for the mods. 
Yeah, yeah, I said it before. This is not a hardcore guide tutorial or anything like that. I like to use mods while I'm playing actually this game. I don't like the vanilla mods at all, especially the thrusters. That's the main reason I'm actually gonna use mods is the thrusters. If you're gonna create a create and build some sort of a mining drone machine, like ship, I mean, you wanna end up with a wall of thrusters, and I hate that. Um, it's just not good. And so that's why I like to use some mods. I have like, f let me actually load them. I have like a um, few mods in there. Six, seven, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, some of them are just for looks. Some of them are actually useful. Uh, in case gyro is both uh, useful and also good for looks. If you want to use them, use them. If not, well, it's nothing really game breaking. Game breaking. Rolling ramp, just for look. Have some functionality in it. Nothing really interesting. Now, the helicarrier thrusters is really important to have uh, because, as I said, vanilla thrusters suck. As myth, uh, complete mega mod pack. I think everyone actually knows this mod and uses this mod. Very, very good. Uh, mod pack to have it uh, it actually has everything you need so um, you can't you, you can actually remove all of them just use this but i like to add some more uh, mods to my world reworked armor ramps um, just for look make things uh, look a bit more interesting nanite control uh, factory this thing is really hard to make it's fucked up it's really hard to make Gonna use a lot of compound your components, gonna use a lot of power. Uh, it's power hungry like crazy. Uh, yeah, this is actually really balanced in my opinion. It's also very useful. I don't like to just like um, weld every single small block. So having this thing, yeah, it's very useful actually. Solar panels, it's nothing really it's not good actually, honestly. I did use it in one time in my uh, playthrough, then I end up actually uh, grinding them down and using the main so uh, vanilla solar panel actually. If you like to have them, have them, if not, well, remove them, nothing really game breaking or anything. Advanced storm mod pack, I don't know why I even have that here, just for loops I guess. And S modular thrusters, so it is also really important to have I guess. So yeah, helicarrier thrusters, azimuth complete, mega mod pack, nanites, and S modular thrusters. These four uh, mod uh, mods are actually really useful. Rest of them you don't need them really, but they're just good for looks. And they also have some functionality. Let me be honest with you. And there I have tons of mod. I haven't. I'm not using any of them. It will make them a little bit. Crazy actually, I don't like that actually to become really weird. So that's the mod that I am using right now in this world. And environment hostility. I think if you put it on normal, you're gonna get like um mirror, I think it's called mirror shower into the planet for some reason. So yeah, turn that off actually, turn on safe. Auto save, out of save auto save, actually auto save, uh, turn that off. Uh, sometimes you're gonna crash and it's gonna be like it's not gonna be your uh, fault it's gonna be like a space engineer freezing and then or just physics of the physics of the game just like nope i'm not gonna follow the rules and just it's gonna like a hiccup and then you're gonna crash or the game is gonna freeze you're gonna encounter a bug you're gonna crash and you're gonna be like frustrated so yeah turn that auto save off save manually it's you should get used to doing save manually so yeah that's all the setting i really wanted to show you guys and i think my uh, recording software i'm using obs open open broadcast software i hope it's picking it up it's showing that it's picking up hopefully across so i'll see you guys in the game don't go anywhere hello again and welcome and we are following to the ground to the earth and right now we are into our lander atmospheric lander 
it, it will slowly start kicking off those thrusters and it will slow us down. Right now we are falling at full speed. You can turn it off to save some power. You don't need to. Now, the first thing you guys should do, find a good place to land. Now, this is probably the worst place that we are falling in. Um, in my playthrough, you can check it out, uh, I actually fell, in, uh, fell into a very very nice spot, there was a lot of ore, there was a lot of uh, ice, and a very very uh, good uh, location to get enough power from sun, and the day in time, I was like at the very end of the very end of the planet. I don't know what they call them. I completely forget the very uh, top and the very end of the planet. I don't remember what what's the word for it. And the sun rotation was awesome. So I was getting a lot of daytime and a lot of um, sun power, solar panel stuff like that. And and that's actually a really good place to start. I don't know about this place honestly. I'm gonna try the lake. Not the like the frozen water lake. See, I don't know what's that. Now make sure you uh, land um, safely and try not to break anything because we're gonna salvage everything on this lander very useful and we're gonna keep it actually for a long time and don't worry it won't disappear it's not a temporary ship it will stay and um, i don't know if it's a bug or they will uh, like add it in the future but it won't disappear for now and there are a lot of things in it you can salvage and uh, i will show you at the moment let me slow down I was going down very fast now remember there is a ore detector under here so if we fly over these you see those black and uh, darker uh, color uh, thingy they are actually my uh, uh, what do you call them my ore deposits like iron uranium cobalt nickel silicon and Gold, similar. Yeah, there should be these. At, I don't know all that uh, the material. All I know is uh, you can't find platinum, 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 platinum. If it's mean. So no atmospheric thrusters until you get to this space and find the asteroid and mine them. So. Let me get down and scan this area. Oh yes, uranium. So, uh, try to um, search all over the place, see what you can find. So we have gold and uranium. Now, quick. Um, let me show you guys something. Uh, press K to open your terminal. Go to GPS. Uh, create a new position. Pose. Uh, a new from current policy position and then just name that uh, gold and all right yum and there you go you have it marked in your gps you can turn it off if you don't want it to show up uh, all the time but yeah that's actually very good and there was iron as well so that was an awesome place you need a lot of gold for, I think, superconductor, which is super useful for azimuth uh, stuff. So, yeah, we've been lucky. I wasn't able to find gold in my uh, first playthrough. Um, I had to actually tra travel very far. That was annoying. So, what do we have here? Silicon, nickel, that's awesome, and magnesium. So, I think we are in actually a really good place. Uh, by the way, watch your eyes on the field time, we don't have one, let me stop, thank you. I'm gonna mark this as well and then I'm gonna land the lander on the middle of all of these, like, uh, tri uh, triangle, right? Tri <laughs> yes, this, <laughs> my uh, ore deposit, then I'm gonna show you what should you do next. So, I'm gonna cut it out when I got there. 
I'm gonna create a GPS here as well. What was it here? Nickel, silicon, magnesium. Now let's check what we have here. Nickel, iron, cobalt. So, I mean, we have literally everything except the, I think, silver, which is very important as well. I'm sure we can find them easily. Yeah, we have seriously everything we need. Let me create another pose here. Cobalt, CO, right? I don't know. I don't remember chemistry. So, uh, I can go do more uh, scattering around, find more material, but it's gonna. I'm gonna waste my uranium, and I need that a lot. So I'm gonna go land near the iron, I guess, and uranium, which is important to have. So yeah. And there's a lot of ice, so you don't need to be worried about hydrogen in the future, which is important if you want to get out of the planet or atmosphere, I would say. Please stop. Don't do this, okay? You're gonna crash. I know what I'm doing. Especially if you're playing it for the first time. And this third person camera annoying me. Just land it easily. Make sure you don't lose anything and there we go we have landed and uh, go to your terminal again find all of the uh, atmospheric turn them all off we don't need them and we don't want them to use any power and they won't use it because we land but just in case so right now we have 32 days of fuel awesome now the first thing you should do is to set up a solar panel on top of your lander. Now, and uh, you can go ahead and by the way, open up your helmet, you don't need to use your oxygen anymore. Now, make sure for, our, for the first day or two, keep your eyes on the sun rotation. I think it's gonna be like, let me see how the earth is actually rotating, or better to say, the sky actually rotating it's going like this right the sun should go like this i guess so yeah keep your eyes on the sun see that its rotation is very very important now uh, i need solar panel okay first thing i want to do is create a big um long and big um pillar thingy so that you can stick the solar panel on, on it. Get your grinder, grind this thing, you don't need it. And use the silk plate that will give you so that you can create some sort of a pillar thingy. Oh wait, we are full. Now, you see at the bottom left volume, that's your uh, weight or your backpack limit. It's not backpack actually, I don't know what you want to call it. So, Okay, this is a cargo container, it's a small, but uh, it's big enough to contain a lot of resources in it. So go ahead, get rid of your, not get them, it's tool. You need them. Guns, ammunition, construction component, everything except the solar panel, the grinder, and your torch. Or welder, torch welder. Open up your blueprint. Get this light arm block in here. Oops, wait. Get rid of this first. Don't worry about anything. It won't damage anything. And we're gonna actually grind that as well. So, let's build. Now, again, watch the left. Watch the bottom left. You see the oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. Here's how you're gonna actually recharge it. Let me get rid of this. Go here and just keep pressing T. There we go. Now, let me see how much ice we have in the oxygen generator. So, you come here at like these are contract panels, these are like the inventory stuff. So, you can access everything from everything literally. Press K. So, right now we are in the control panel. We're supposed to be inventory. I don't know why. Oh, wait, I actually clicked the control panel before that. So we have, holy shit, a lot of the supplies is really good. 
and a lot of ammo so you can actually turn on cyber hunt and I wasn't uh, I didn't spawn with all of these I uh, spawned with like three only that's a lot of ammo fuck so we have a, a lot of ice no problem let's go out and there's a lot of ice just get your drill drill a little bit of ice put them into the oxygen generator we're good to go so press X turn on your jetpack and keep going up as much as you can and you don't need to weld any of them and that should be pretty much enough yeah that's a lot that's really good now go on don't crash to anything with a high velocity or you're gonna kill yourself that's awesome uh, I don't know sun was like there I guess and it's there yeah I said keep my eyes on it and I'm not keeping my eyes on it great let's get rid of this there are goodies in it okay after setting up the solar panel I'm gonna show you guys uh, uh, what you need in this lander and what you don't need so there's a lot of salvageable stuff all the fosters all the glass all these like bullshit uh, walkway this uh, reactor especially the reactor you need to take that off take that off these as well uh, what is it uh, AI core I guess and the gyro as well now it said that it's gonna be it's gonna look temporary ship it will remove after you leave the game or spawn a new one so don't leave the game do this remove the uh, timer block I don't know why we have timer block here remove the program programmable block AI core I like to call that and the gyro you don't need to completely remove it for now now I think it should be safer you can actually do this then roll it up and do one more thing I hope I can do that so let me see and they sh uh, all of these things that I've done should probably stop this ship from being uh, disappeared and uh, this is to me you can put that to nobody don't do that I haven't done that in my old and uh, playthrough and everything was fine so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go up set up all the things I need so what do we need for solar panel bring up the blueprint and let me see what we need so we need solar cell computer steel plate large steel tube and construction component I will forget them all right now computer we have that construction component large oh my god don't put that right now it's gonna use all of your inventory give me all of that I can't have all of that so let's go up set up that and I will come back with the rest of it uh, hydrogen we don't have enough hydrogen let me check okay first thing make sure you don't do the same thing as I was doing I will fill up please there we go go to your cargo container inventory search for oxygen P2 oxygen bottle and can pick get rid of that damn it oxygen give me both of them now I don't need to be worried about anything awesome let's go up Nah, we all know that the sun is going like that, right? So we may end up putting some solar panel like this, okay? But not now. Let's go back. Welding, get all of the stuff I need. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. 
I'm drunk. Let me get some of my stuff in them. There we go. Just tap it so that you move all the necessary stuff into it. And boom. Okay. We need more solar cell and large steel tube. Let's go back. Okay. There we go. We have our solar panel up and going and they're making some power not very f they're not full because the sun is going like very time uh, sun is going like this way so i may end up putting some solar panel like this and this as well so i can get more power out of them but not now i will keep my eyes i may end up putting them like this it really depends on the sun rotation on this uh, place. Now, so we have set up our uh, solar panel. My God, that's seeking me. I don't know. Why. Okay, seeking me. Now, here, what we should do next? So let's go grab the uranium here. Inventory. That's not a lot, but. I will do the job for our next adventure. So what the fuck did I just move wrong? Nothing. Okay. Now, the, f uh, the next thing we should do is to do is to start uh, salvaging the salvageable parts that we don't need. Okay, all of these work. Um, what are the catwalks? The uh, air uh, air went. We don't need that. This conveyor conveyor. I may end up leaving that, but we don't need a reactor. Actually, it's really important, so you have to take it out. And uh, the gyro. There's a lot of uh, steel plate in it. Very important to get rid of that. You can remove some of the light. Not very important. Get rid of this section as well. All of these thrusters, these pillars, they're called pillars, right? Yes. And the thrusters up here. So I will see you guys. Oh, and, and three of the landing gears. Leave the one that is like this. And remove the ore detector as well. So, one more time. All the thrusters, these three landing gears, ore detector, these massive one, pillars, catwalk, a reactor, air vent. And uh, those and um, a screen, and we don't need those. Some of the light, this section, all of the glass, and also up here. So, I will see you guys after I've completely removed that. So, it's gonna take for it's gonna take a while, yeah. Okay, guys, we are removing this cat bike, and just remember something while you are grinding this. You may end up damaging the refinery as I did right now. So go ahead and just fix it up. Don't worry about anything. Okay guys, I have finally managed to salvage all the salvageable parts. And it did took me around 15 minutes, not a long time. And let me show you how much stuff I have gathered. Yay, that's a lot of stuff. These are enough for our next step, but I'm not gonna do it in this video. It's been it's, it's been a long enough video, and I have to end it. Now I'm not sure I'm gonna do the next. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another video like part two. It's not enough. I had to actually do it, but I need to know if there are people watching this actually. If or people actually want to watch it or not uh, and if people can actually uh, vo uh, listen to me because you know I'm not good at English and people may not like he listening to me anyway thank you all guys for watching this video let me know if you want to see more uh, anything else I want to add
subscribe if you are new subscribe please let me know your thought it's a lot of fun doing this sort of video if you want to see more please let me know subscribe leave a comment like the video if you like it dislike the video if you dislike it if you sucked dislike that but dislike this video if you think it's good like the video if you want to see more please let me know as well Having Game Horizon, thank you all guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.